So I just picked up this lawnmower for $50 at a small engine repair shop. I've been kind of shopping around looking for the, exactly the one I want to do an electric conversion. And this electric conversion is going to be a little different than uh, some of the other ones you've seen. I'm going to completely strip it down and put a transaxle on it and use some different motors and electronics and it'll be completely electric. I'm going to get rid of the hydro static axle that uh, are standard on these types of lawnmowers. And it's going to be quite the fun adventure. As you can see, it was in uh, pretty rough shape when I got it, but it was perfect for, our, for what I wanted to do because all it was, it just needed to be cleaned up. Yeah, that's all. There's no dents. There's no real problems with it. And all I really was looking for and needing was the frame and the body. And the body was in good shape. So if you're interested in maybe doing an electric conversion to your lawnmower that you already have or picking one up because you want an electric lawnmower, um, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do this in some different series. And I'm going to let you guys know kind of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, leave links, that kind of stuff. And hopefully it will give you guys some insight to help you out. Another reason why I went with this frame and body is because it was all steel. I was looking at a couple John Deere's and the plastic hood they were just cracked and it seems like that was going to be a problem i mean if i have this sitting out in the yard and the soccer ball hits it like it's not going to crack and break uh, whereas those john deere tractors the hoods on those on the smaller um, lawnmowers they're all plastic and break really easily so that was a big point for me is to get this one because of the hood and it was in such good shape i'm going to end up sanding it down, repainting the whole thing. It's going to be a big project. So this is just kind of stepping stones towards what I eventually want to do, right? So the first thing I had to do was completely tear it down to just the frame. And that's what I did. Cleaned it up and then I ended up painting the frame all black again. And it's kind of my base of where I want to go with this, right? The next steps are getting the transaxle. I have that ordered and it should be here in the next couple weeks. And I'm going to do an unboxing and show you exactly the axle I went with, why I went with it, how to get it, and do some testing on it because I'm really not exactly sure what I'm getting myself into. This is my first attempt at anything like this. You know, there will be some trial and error. 